Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I just want to say real quick that we are indeed selling um, cute little Toprogo stickers. If you want to get your hands on them, please check the description below. Enjoy the video! Alrighty everyone, welcome to a very special video. Um, I just want to say real quick that um, I'm doing this just because I have a feeling that guides are getting a little bit outdated and as Paladins is going to start getting players over time, I'm sure. Again, there's we have the whole Blizzard thing still going on and everything. Um, I just want to think. I just want to make a quick guide, or like a series, and we're going to start off with the whole selection thing. Uh, I know people want to get into the juicy bits, the game itself. However, I feel like it's still a very important thing. To know how to navigate through the entire paladin's menu and i feel like guides in general just do not do this they all talk about like the in-game juicy stuff and i promise you we will get to those in a f near future video but for this one we're just going to do the basic start of it all the menus i will explain what currency is i'll explain what this menu does i'll explain how you buy items and everything and it just explains to the best of my abilities. I will be putting timestamps on the screen right now for when, or like if you need to skip to something and you may be confused about something. And the play, the little play bar in the video, you'll see that it's like checked off to like each section of like what I'm talking about. So, this is a PTS build of a very, an update coming in September 2021. If there's any minor updates to Paladins in the future, I will have a pinned comment in the description. Anything major, I'll make a new video. So, this is the first thing you're going to see when you load into the game. Or something similar, you're a new player. So you're, pro you're going to be prompt immediately to do the tor tutorial. And I want to say real quick, when you first log into the game, do the tutorial. Because the tutorial, no one really pays attention to this, but the tutorial does give you 25,000 gold, and I will explain down the road why that would be useful. So, first off, the first thing you're probably wanting to do is click play. Um, I would not recommend doing that. I would recommend checking everything else first, then like head dive first into play. So we're going to start from the top right over here. This, this button here is your notifications. You will see all your notifications for gold, player invites, friend requests, experience, etc. You will not see your um, experience from end games and I believe battle pass. Ex no, you'll see your battle pass experience. So this is where you're going to see your notifications. And you can do clear all because these notifications are not important. As you can see, you got all that here to help you out. And then now to the right of this button is the friends list. Obviously, you will you can click on this, and you have well this is not your friends list. This is social, but it will take you straight to your friends list, and so you can have a nice big friend list and everything. Uh, if you want friends, um, the highest amount of friends you can get in the game is nine hundred and ninety nine, and you'll know real quickly that nine hundred and ninety nine is the cap for everything. But for now. Uh, 999 friends is the max you can go. You got two bars up here for social. You got party. This is where you will invite players. You can do invite players through other different ways. You can type out their name. So type out their name here, and you click. You press on this, and you'll be able to see their box here. And you'll just have to click on that box. Another way to do it is if you have friends. The fastest way to do it is clicking on Add Friend to Party, and you will see a giant list here of your friends. I uh, do know that if you see you see the zero up here, I have that means no one is online. Like from my friends list, that is online. Uh, this is a public test server build that no one's really playing on right now. So yeah, no one's really online. But when people are online, um, they they are online. It, you'll see them. And then to the far right of the social tabs is the referrals. This is something that not many people really know about, and I would highly recommend you taking good advantage of this. You can earn the pip skin and a bunch of currency, a bunch of crystals. Let's see, 400, 600, yeah, that's like a, that's around over a thousand crystals. That's going to help you a lot. 
If you manage to make an alternative account, which is this method that me and many other people used for this, then don't worry. We, we know not everyone has a lot of friends to play with. If you do have a bunch of accounts you can make, a, a lot of the veteran players actually did that. So you can send a referral and it will open up a Steam browser. However, it has a 404 not found error. You're going to have to do this through other means, which I can explain um, in another video. And then you have referred friends, and you can see all the friends that you have referred to the game. So, of course, these are all the friends that have joined Paladins through me. And you can see all of my Smurfs, not my Smurfs, etc. So, you went through the friends list. There's still one more thing to do. And that's the settings. I mean, it, it's a it's a little gear icon. Every every system, everything has a gear icon for your settings. This is where you're going to be able to change a lot of things with the game, and that's where I absolutely love the customization. Obviously, unfortunately, Paladins doesn't have the best amount of customization for certain aspects of the game, like crosshairs. You are stuck choosing between a select color and a select type of crosshair. You can't customize it. But here is where you can edit your video, so your graphics, gamma, FOV, um, resolution, everything. Um, if you're new to the game, I would highly recommend having D3D11 enabled. And if you start noticing you have frame drops, this is, a, this is one way to fix it. A lot of people will usually have frame drops, and they can just turn this to disable. And it could fix it. If you notice no difference, obviously turn it back on to enable. Uh, just... An, you may have to restart your game for some things to be turned on, but this is the best way to edit your video settings. Then to the right is audio. Of course, I would not recommend having everything on 100. Paladins is very loud, um, but you can turn it all down. I would usually keep. I would recommend like keeping it like at the middle or lower. Put it, obviously the only chance you would put it higher is if you have your Windows volume like like to the max and you still can't hear the game for some reason, in which case I would highly recommend just getting new um, headphones. I have notification volume at zero. I wouldn't, I would highly recommend do the same thing. It's, it's kind of a useless jump scare. Uh, obviously you have character music volume. Uh, if you, I would recommend turning this off as well. If you are playing the character with a skin that does play music because the music characters like uh, Pepper, Sarah, Strix, Mave, etc. gives off. It is very loud and makes it hard to hear, so you can simply press the arrow and disable it, and then enable it. Obviously you have other things to edit. I would recommend having a voice chat on. If you do ranked, turn it off for literally other reasons. Next you have gameplay, and this this is where I'm going to give you suggestions. This, this is what I highly recommend. So, you, you may be new to game. Game tips are very useful in certain aspects they can definitely be better. I can spend like 30 minutes and type up like two pages worth of good tips that are like 10 times better than this. But I, I highly recommend just keep turning this off. Watch watch one of my guides in the future. If And if I have one out now, by the time you uh, see this, um, obviously click on one of those. Damage numbers, always keep it on. Combat log, always keep it on. VGS input type. So... I play console as well, and right now controller players only have uh, default and radial. I'm sorry, controller players, there's nothing we can do for you. Oh yeah, you guys get text as well. I would recommend text, personally. But if you're on PC, so Epic Games, Steam, or Standalone Launcher, Standalone Launcher is not supported by the way, um, you can, I would recommend Legacy Deprecated, because it, it says Deprecated, meaning it's not supported. However, I, I would highly recommend this. This is so much better than the other voice chat. And it, it's just a lot better. Uh, scoreboard type. I have um, I have default on. However, I have never tried advanced yet. So I'll, def I'll try this at some point down the road. I'll let you know in the description if this is actually like useful or not. But advanced is probably always better. So could turn it on. Always show player health, keep it on all the time. Centered skill bar up to you. Right now, Paladins has a skill bar in the bottom right corner, but it covers up another thing that also appears in the bottom right corner, which is items that you buy in your loadout name. 
I uh, I would recommend Centaur. It just looks cleaner and much better in my personal opinion. This is more of a personal thing. Uh, show Team UI is something I have. I would highly recommend recommend it as well because otherwise you'll just see uh, little boxes up here in the top corner, like the top of the screen, that will like have a counter and just slowly move across. Uh, having Show Team UI will allow you to see their health now, see their respawn timer, and see their ult charge. Show Ally Death Markers is something I have enabled. I can see when player where players die. And that would tell me like, oh, someone's over there. Uh, people have this turned off. It does. It could get in the way sometimes, but other times I just have it enabled and ready. Um, show LA death markers. Yeah, we just talked about that. <laughs> uh, heal feed. This is also a personal preference. You will see a tiny little circle on your screen through the middle of the screen, uh, or the bottom. If you're getting healed, it will show you the, the character icon on who's healing you. You can turn it off completely, but I highly recommend keeping it on. Especially for those who are toxic and think you're not getting healed. I'm, I'm looking at you guys. Uh, Auto-purchase items, turn it off. Don't don't even question it. Turn it off. And I will explain in another video on what you need to buy uh, for uh, the game. But for now, just turn it off. I don't care what you do, turn it off. It's completely useless for what you're trying to do. Um, it's good. For like those who are brand new to do the game, like brand new, like super new to the point where like they just don't know what the hell they're doing. I, I apologize for my cussing. Uh, now, so this is where your customization for your uh, crosshairs will come into place. Red cycle, red, risk, red, the, the, the crosshair blue. I'm gonna say crosshair. This this says something else. I'm not gonna spend five minutes trying to pronounce this. That crosshair blue uh, moves your crosshair depending on like what weapon you use. So it will like expand out if you're like doing a massive explosion, like Drogo Salvo. And you have a uh, change over target. I would recommend turning this off. It's not going to help at all. Now you have red crosshair color, and you can only select white, green, red, yellow, purple, blue, or gray. It's up to you. Per Again, this is personal preference, but I, I use green. Because I feel like it's the one that stands out the most from the maps. I feel like all the other colors just blend way too much into the maps we have. To the point where it's just really hard to see. Uh, and you have a crosshair type. Right now the most popular ones. You'll have default enabled immediately. But right now the most popular ones. Is circle. Precise. And dot. Dot is literally just a dot in a screen. Uh, drop is like three lines in the screen. That is only useful for certain characters like Dredge. But you really, if you play Dredge without it long enough, you'll get used to it. Wide is a very tiny dot in the center with big line, like big parentheses around it, to make it look like a white crosshair. Uh, this is good on certain characters like Vora or Yagrath, where they just have a massive uh, weapon radius. Um, you have Precise, which is just a cross in the center of your screen. This is again one of the most popular ones. It, it helps a lot with all of the champions. Circle is a dot in a circle around it. Uh, this is perfect for characters, again, like Drogos, Bomb King, Willow, etc. That has a, an explosion radius. Sometimes it, it helps with other characters like um, Andrew or Cassie, where you just, just don't know, can't aim properly, and you have, you're have you having a little bit of issues. Um, controller icon style is just uh, what, this right here. It's showing you like your controller buttons, and this is super useful. So here is PS4 real quick. And I can show you guys uh, Xbox. And here is Xbox buttons for you guys. So there's that for you if you need it. Um, I have toggle zoom disabled. I do, I really, I'm gonna be honest here. I don't remember what this did. Um, use profanity filter. Um, if you're a parent, uh, obviously have it on. If you're like, this is a teen game. So anyone like 13 or younger should not be playing this. I recommend having it disabled because there is some time, there's sometimes certain words that are censored that shouldn't be censored. Um, show counter rays on team health bar is super important. I would highly recommend this. In another video in the future, you will understand what the counter rise means. Show card cooldowns is something I also recommend. We'll explain the loadouts um, in another video. Do not disturb. Disabled. Unless you're like a YouTuber who's constantly getting friend requests and whatnot and just getting annoyed. 
This will block off all messages, every single friend request to you, etc. Obviously, I would highly recommend having a public profile on at all times. You will be shamed for going private. Uh, this is not from me. This is from a good chunk of the community. You will be shamed because the it's known to people that cheaters are the ones who put private profile on. And yes, before you before you get scared off, like oh my god, there's cheaters. There's cheaters in every single game, and this game is very active in trying to ban them. So do not fear them. If you meet one in game, just report them, and they will be dealt with. Next is controls. This is a smaller one. This is for your sensitivity and everything. You have invert Y axis, which is probably for controller. Mouse smoothing, I would disable it, though sometimes people need it. It's personal preference. Mouse sensitivity and scope sensitivity are things that are also personal preference. You will have to readjust this if you want to like get better at aiming. If your mouse is like really shaky when you're trying to move, turn this, turn them down. If they're it's if it's too slow for you to aim, turn it up, turn them up. Uh, crossplay, crossplay obviously if not, those don't know, crossplay allows PC players and controller players to play together. So you have allow all on. Uh, you'll play with everyone across the board: PC, Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo Switch, etc. If you turn on controller only, you'll only play with other controller players. And if you turn on keyboard only, you'll only play with keyboard players. And then you have your input method, uh, which is keyboard or controller. It depends on what you have plugged into the key into the computer. Uh, I do not think you will be able to use this at all on. Actually, yes, you will, because you can plug into you can plug a keyboard into consoles. So this depends on like what you're playing with. So we showed you this, and here is the bindings. You can look through this yourself. This shows all the bindings for literally everything. These are my bindings. By default, the game will have ability to add F. I would recommend changing it to Shift, and then putting F on weapon inspect or like another thing if you want. And yeah, here here's my. Uh, stuff. Uh, push to talk. I have that middle mouse button. Some mouse button for item store. This will be I by default. I would probably recommend putting it closer to WASD so you can buy something immediately in between deaths and whatnot before you forget like me. And then next you have spectator. This is for when you want to spectate matches. Um, this is something you're probably not going to understand at all. Even I don't use it. It's, it's really not used much unless you're like watching a tournament and whatnot. So these are all the settings. And of course, when you leave, you can apply changes. I'm going to say no for this video. So, and you can press the little arrow up here again if you want to leave and go back to the main menu. Before we move on into the next scene regarding these menus, there's one more button up here. And that is the X button. Obviously, this will have resume. Obviously, go back to the menu. Notifications, your settings. Credits of all of the paladins, pe like all the people who worked on paladins, like all of them, even the ones who used to work. It's a relatively small team. And then obviously you have exit game. You can cancel to go back to the main menu. You can exit game to completely exit to your desktop, close up the game completely, or log out, which will log you log your account out with the game still open, but it will try to automatically log you back in. And you're gonna have to do log out again for the disconnect bug to be fixed and you'll know what I mean whenever you do this okay now after we went through all that we're, we were just we only did a small section and that was like 17 minutes so I apologize now we're gonna move on to uh, your profile down here this is gonna be really quick so this here will show your battle pass level uh, how many days the event pass has left and how much extra experience and gold you'll earn each match in terms of percentage Next, you have party boost. Uh, you gain extra experience in gold, depending on how many people are in your party. Though I'm hearing news that this actually gets stuck at 10% and doesn't go any higher. Next, you have your profile. And the way, the best way to go to your profile is clicking on your avatar right here. You click on it, and you'll be greeted with this type of screen. Yours is going to look completely different because you're going to have everything on default. So avatars is obviously your little character icon. You have a bunch of them, like so many to choose from. Uh, of course, not all of them you can obtain anymore. There's some you can get for gold. Um, do know that the, some of these that are like at one gold right now will not be one gold in, when, by the time this goes onto the actual servers. So cer certain of them will be though. 
Next, we have titles. This is your in-game title, which you can see down here under my name. You'll see this in scoreboards um, and loading screens and character selections. Uh, you can buy some of them with gold, but you can get a lot of them through like other means, mainly through Battle Pass and getting champions to level 30. Next, you'll have uh, loading frames. This is what you'll see during, during the loading screens. I have them on because I kept buying everything in this game. The only ones I don't have here is uh, ranked. You can get ranked stuff through playing ranked. Just if you get past gold 5, I believe, or like win 100 or win 200 games or whatnot, you'll get a um, frame. As you can see here, it, it's really easy. Th that's the best free frame you can get. Also, you can get commendation frames. And I believe, uh, where is it? Where is it? There is one frame I believe you can get for free. Yeah, street style frame. I believe you can get this one not for free, but for like 200 crystals if you really want that. Um, next, you'll have your mount. This is what you'll ride into battle with. I'll explain those more later, but you can get a, a sort of a pretty good library, as you can see. Uh, a lot of horses, but you get motorcycles, dragons, bats, and a bunch of different other mounts you can possibly get. Next, you have your announcer pack. And this this is the one you're gonna have. Th this is the one you're gonna have on default. But you can get a uh, bomb king and EV for like 200 or 400 crystals. I cannot remember. Um, these will just change the voice in the battle itself. You'll they're the ones who say epic, uh, killing spree, enemy has a killing spree, etc. Um, obviously sprays. Everyone knows what sprays are. You spray it on the ground. There's little art there. You can get up. Oh, that was random. Um, you can get up to four slots of sprays to use. I'll explain how to use them in game at some point down the road. And you have death stamps. These little cute, these cute little models will pop up uh, at any character that you personally kill. So if you kill someone, this will pop up at their body. It's this, this one's adorable. You, you get a good a variety of them. Of course, some of them you will not be able to get anymore. A lot of these things are more like past event passes and battle passes. You will just definitely will not be able to get them anymore. Music packs. This is something that will play during the main menus and other uh, menus and areas. Uh, you have Rise of Furia, which is the one you can get right now for like 200, 400 crystals. Uh, there's Remix Music Pack, which you can kind of hear in the background. I don't know if you can really hear it or not. Uh, Street Pop. And of course, you got Rise of Furia, which is the rock one. Now, if you look up here, it, when you click on one, either of these, you'll notice this up here. This this is the same thing. You can go, this is the same exact thing. That actually reminds me. We didn't talk about death cards yet. Death cards is what will pop up. You, th The enemy team will see this death card if you have it equipped. So I have... Lord of the Abyss equipped, Souls Collector, this match is zero. This number will go up depending on how many people I eliminated, not killed, eliminated. And the enemy team will see this if I kill them. Of course, you can get, obviously, a good chunk of these for crystals. Some of them you will not be able to get right now, or you'll never be able to get, because, again, past event passes and stuff, and so on. These are really cool to have. Uh, there is one I would not recommend. There, there is one I would not recommend. About hit 100,000, though, so... Mm. And of course, up here is where we're going to get into more detail. The, we're going to completely get out of customization for a bit. Go into overview and you'll see your overview uh, stats. So time played, wins, experience, next level, how many champions, how many skins, mounts, commendations, and ranks, and more. So as you can see here, I'm level 999, and you'll notice that this is in the negatives. Uh, the max level in terms of player level, is 999, like I said earlier for another thing. Uh, obviously, you have your champion skins and mount stats here, and you'll have commendations. Um, I have maxed out commendations on live servers, but yeah. And if you open the commendation rewards by simply clicking the rewards here, um, you'll see that you have rewards you can get depending on how many commendations you get. So usually you'll this is pretty normal. You'll usually get a title, a uh, chest. You'll always get a loading frame at the end of the year. And 
uh, last year this was a death death card. This year it's an announcer pack, so this sounds like it could be completely random. It could be anything. Um, and then you have your rank stuff. It'll tell you if you're qualifying and whatnot. Um, so you, if you want to see your um, like who's the top, you click on leaderboard, and you can click on this thing up here, and you can scroll and see like the top players for like each rank. It, it's really cool. Next we have awards. This is mainly just achievements. I have got them all. Yeah, you can see this through the Steam menu. I do not know if they have it for a standalone launcher or Epic Games. But you can see them all here and you can get 1,000 coins for everything. Uh, the Paladin's tutorial here is the proof. You'll get 40,000 experience and 25,000 gold for completing the tutorial for the first time. You can get titles and that's the max you can get for like other things here. Next, you have history, and what history does is just showing your previous match or matches that you have done through the entire game for like up to however long you have it. Um, if you want to see details, you can click on details and you only see match stats. If you click on loadouts, you can see loadouts, the items they bought, and um, this fun stuff here, which is called talents. I'll explain all of those later. Again, your KDA, streak, objective time, damage, shielding, and healing, and credits. And if you want to add uh, your friends, uh, you can do uh, add friend, which is this button here. You can send them a gift through this button, and you can report players through this button. And that's about it for profile stuff. Okay, so we went through the settings. We went through the customization. Now we get to the juicy bit, which is this area over here. So down here, obviously, you're going to see a card. It, this is just like, this is a little advertisement in the game. You can click on one if you're, like, interested. And obviously, if I click on that, it will take me straight to the champion. Over here, you have view now for the event pass. If you click on this, it's going to immediately open the event pass stats and play its cool little music. So we're going to start from the bottom. Earn free rewards, watch an ad, and you'll earn uh, stuff. This is supposed to be bounty coins, and I'm sure they'll do that at some point down the road pretty soon so this is probably just a placeholder so you can click on watch and watch an ad or click on close if you don't want to watch it next we have profile which obviously opens up your profile and all of the things i talked about right before this next you have quest you get three quests and you get like 30 bound coins for each 50,000 battle pass experience or just xp in general it doesn't tell you and gold you just have to complete each of these quests get like help like heal damage kills bunch of fun stuff and you got more quests to deal with when we get to trials later on next you have store this is where it gets a little interesting so you got the event pass here of course once you click on it it'll take you straight to the event pass as always you have this is another advertisement it's not a paladin's merch it's not just that it can have a bunch of different things if you're a new player, you'll see like special deals, which I highly recommend getting if you're planning to stay on this game. I would highly recommend get, uh, getting whatever $5 deals they have here. And then they have Deal of the Day, which will try and sell you skins that you do not own. So, when you want to get these skins that show up here, uh, these are like around $6 to $7 USD. It's different in other countries. Uh, once you buy it, you'll not get these immediately. You'll get what's called a Deal of the Day token, which is this here. And then you can use it to unlock this, and if you decide last minute, uh, I, d I don't want it. Now you can wait till the next day, and you'll still have your deal of the day token. So like, if I want to buy this now with my deal of the day, I'll obviously get everything I want. And then you'll have check back later, which, it, this usually swaps um, every day. Of course, if you have too many skins like I do, I get this, I get my deal of the day pop up like once every few days. Next you have DLC, this is what you can buy certain special editions or whatnot with real life currency. You have Starter Edition, you'll unlock Leon, Tyra, Grover, Pip, Koga, Sky, Barrick, and Fernando. If you pay this, you'll get 22 champions with this one, 600 crystals, and everything in the Starter Edition if you decide to buy this. And there's another one and there will be a Season Pass and other things. Of course, I personally buy almost everything so I, I can't show you here. Uh, next we got Chest and Gifts. This is where you're going to be able to open up chests for skins. Skins are a very valuable thing here. Um, to start off, you can send gifts to two other players through this. 
So if I want to send stuff to Deblasian, I'll have a large gift, a medium gift, and a small gift to choose from. And if you notice the crystal price down there, you go from 50 to 75 for medium and 300 for large. Large guarantees skins. Um, this one can give skins and I believe some uh, emotes. And this one's strictly for minor things like emotes, MVP poses. And you can choose between all these messages. And if you want to stay in an anonymous or say it's from you, you can do that too. You can use it for offline players as well. And now obviously you can open your gifts here. Like I have a bunch of big gifts from a lot of my fans and family. Not family, friends. And then you go to the chest. There is a lot of chests in this game, as you can see. A lot of chests. And these are all not going to be available right away. They'll swap, they'll swap them out over time. So let's say you want, um, you open Tales of Heroes in. You'll see what is available in the chest. You get to see through all the skins. You can click on them or whatnot and see the preview. Uh, these skins will not cost one gold. These will cost crystals. And pretty expensive depending on the chest. You can go from 50 crystals to 75. Spike all the way up to 100. All the way to 400, 500, 600. It depends. Next you go to bounties. This is where you're going to be able to get skins for free through watching Twitch. You can watch a bunch of Twitch streamers. Twitch.tv slash Infernal Drogos by the way. And uh, you'll be able to get skins for free here. These will cost what's called bounty coins. I'll explain this very, very soon. That's pretty much what this is. Be able to buy skins for free using bounty coins. There's certain skins that will be exclusive, like Toothache Eevee. She's also very exclusive to this and a chest. And next, you click on account, you get two options here. You get redeem code, which you can redeem codes from giveaways or being from partner with high res if you're able to manage to get that far. And you can change your in-game username. So if I want to change back to Infernal Drogos, I can do 400 crystals. Obviously, it's going to say there's a problem. This is PTS. And that's how you're going to be able to do that. Now, before we leave, you may notice there's buy crystals here. Uh, this is how you're going to buy crystals. And if you didn't know already, I mean, let's be honest, you should have known. Crystals is our premium currency. Gold is our free currency. So you're going to be able to buy crystals here, and crystals are actually really well-priced for this type of game. So uh, they are well-priced, and you, you get them quite constantly. They have crystal storms and a bunch of different events. So before we move on, I should explain down here. This is where you're going to see your crystals. So it says I have 6,000 crystals down here, if you see my mouse. Then you see your gold, and then you see your bounty coins. Gold is stuff, something you'll be able to buy for free like recolors and other things next we go to the trials of realm this goes with every event pass well it switches with every event pass and you'll see that you can get three challenges and three rewards per uh thing you open as you can see here i'm opening each one and they're they're all different you're always going to have oh i exit out you're always going to have two tickets at a time as you can see here you're only going to have two max at a time so if i want to do Serpent Beach, I'll click on Serpent Beach, and it'll show me all the challenges I can do for this reward, which is a pumped up buck, uh, I think it's an MVP pose, or an emote. It's an emote. And if I want to unlock it, obviously I click on unlock, and I have unlocked it. I can click on another one through the shaded area, and unlock this one if I want this instead. You have to complete, like you absolutely have to complete these challenges. Um, or else you'll, you'll not be able to unlock anything else. You'll get another ticket once you complete it to unlock another challenge. And you, th these will unlock like every two weeks, I believe, until the next patch. So like the very bottom one will not unlock until like literally two weeks until before like a patch comes out. Next, you have the event pass itself. This is where you're able to see all of the juicy bits of like a theme. So pretty much they, re they release skins related to a theme every patch. Today's theme is going to be relatively spooky and Halloween-y. So you'll see all of the rewards by clicking these arrows at the bottom. And there's a lot of rewards. It only goes up to 24. Uh, and I would like tell you now, these event passes are really, really easy to grind out. Like, super easy. It's almost ridiculous. Um, 
and this is where I would recommend just buying them any chance you get. Like, yeah, here's a death card. You get skins. Uh, and you will get one skin every event pass for free. So when this is released to live servers, you'll be able to get this Corvus skin completely for free if you reach level 18 from the free track. Uh, and it will tell you your days left up here and what event pass you have. And obviously it'll tell you information of this particular item right here. And now we go up to champions. This is where you're going to see all of your champions in the game. Uh, you'll see literally all of the locked ones, every one that you have unlocked. And I want to explain something real quick that no one really pays attention to. Um, where is it? If you look at the select icon where my mouse is at right now, this circle here is what we call a rotation. And when a champion is on rotation, it will be unlocked to every single player for the duration of the rotation. And every single rotation usually lasts one week or two weeks if something happens. And once the rotation is over, the champion is locked and you have to unlock them again. Obviously, you're going to get some champions for free. So if you go to damage class, you're going to get Victor and uh, Cassie for free. For Flank, you're going to get, I believe, Lex for free. I don't remember if there's another character. I, I don't remember. I think it's Lex and Sky. You get these two for free. Um, for Tanks, you get Fernando and Barrett for free. Or Fernando and Ruckus. Barrett is not for free. You can get you can get Barrett for free if you play on Steam. For like five matches. And for Support, you can get Saris. Janos and Pip for free. These are all free champions. And those are, those are literally everything you get for free. And if you want to get a champion, uh, let's go to Drogos, for example, because my boy Drogos deserves some loves. Uh, they do cost gold. You will not be able to see it here because, obviously, I have already got this champion. Uh, there will be a big purple box here uh, saying how much gold they cost and how many crystals. I would recommend sticking with gold for buying champions, unless you buy, unless you're, you're like really rich and buy crystals with like no issue. Uh, certain champions will be 15,000 gold, then you go to 30,000 gold, and then you go to 60,000 gold. 60,000 gold is champions like 2019 and earlier, not earlier, uh, newer. And before that is when it starts to drop to 30,000. And there's literally only a few selected characters that is 15,000. And I can name those off now. Actually, Grok is 15,000. Buck is 15,000. And Grover is 15,000. There may be another champion that's 15,000 that I don't remember. And if that's the case, please let me know in the comments. So this is where you see your champions. Now, you want to see the fun stuff of champions. So you click on a character. He'll say his little, cute little name. And you will see all of the descriptions in your key bindings. For their uh, abilities, you'll see their health right here, how many health they have. You'll go into an advanced, and you'll see an advanced description of all of their abilities. And if you go into talents, you'll see all of their talents available for this particular character. If you're new to the game, you have to play character to level 8 to unlock um, all of their talents. So in Drogos' case, if you're new to Drogos... You'll get combustible for free. You level up to level 4 or 2. You'll get fusillade. And then once you level up to 8, you'll get worm jets. This is just an example for Drogos. And then obviously there's this button right down here for ultimate if you want to hear his voice lines. And here's this up here if you want to hear uh, Drogos' voice lines for whatever you have equipped. Yeah. All that fun stuff. Then you go here and you'll see all your champion skins and everything that's available. You'll see literally everything. And if you go to a character that has a different voice pack, and for those who don't know, skins and paladins each have their own voice pack and weapons. Uh, you'll see that you can see all of their skins by previewing and clicking on them. And if you want to, if you want to bestow our by the way, you'll never get it. Haha, uh -huh. luck scene. Same goes for the rockets. You'll see them all over here. You can equip rockets and skins. and mix. This is the only way you can mi like mix and match. There's their main skin and their weapon. Then you go into emotes. You'll see all the emotes a champion has. The camera will zoom out. 
so you can get a better view of it and you can move your mouse and whatnot and see every fun thing. And obviously if you click on one, double click, or just click on one, uh, you'll get four slots for emotes. And for MVP poses, you can only have one uh, enabled at a time. And you can choose whichever one you want. For Jorogos, I right now his mastery pose is actually bugged heavily. So you can choose all the other ones. Then you go into loadouts. This is going to be its completely own video. To put it simply, this is where you can create your own cars for champions for your own playstyle. Next we have progression. And this just tells you the champion's uh, lore. The lore in this game is messed up, not to be mean. I mean, some, it's, it's mostly good. It, they're doing a good job with it. But there's some characters that feel a little bit off. Um, you'll see your level. You'll see how much experience you'll need before you can level up. And you click on rewards. And you'll see all the rewards for leveling up with a character. Again, level 2 for Fist Slade. 8 for Worm Dreads. Those are talents. And so on. You'll unlock golden skins at 50, and you can get obsidian and cosmic skins at 14 and 20. And every single champion has their own title, which you can get at level 30 by reaching them there. In this case, Drogos' title is the Greedy. And that is about it for the champions. So you can exit out by simply pressing escape. And you go back here. Uh, you have these options up here. You can click on them for each class. You have damage, flank, frontline and support and all and then you can sort by through uh, these four options personally it's up to th this is just personal preference i do it by ownership and mastery level next we have play this is where you're going to play the game um when you go into here the first thing that the game's going to tell you to do is pick a region this is the screen you're going to see but there's going to be a lot more regions this depends on where you live. In this case, let's say I live in Europe. I would click on Europe and click on confirm. and It'll change down here. But I live in North America, so I'm going back to that. This is where you're going to see your game modes. These are your three main game modes. Well, three of four. Uh, you have Team Deathmatch. And it will tell you, uh, like, the description of that. So Team Deathmatch, your focus is just killing the enemy players. And the first one to 40 kills will win. Onslaught uh, is focused on slain enemies while capturing an objective. Uh, Siege is the most popular game mode. This is where you go to an objective, capture it, and push the payload into the enemy base while slaughtering them and doing everything you want. Up here, obviously, you have your daily queue bonuses. So if you queue each game mode two times, you'll get 300 gold per. Then rank. This is where it's going to get where you, you get, have to like, get sweaty and ready. Um, so if you want to queue for ranked, obviously you will click join queue and it will queue you. This will tell you your rank and everything. Obviously you have your daily bonus. Over here it will tell you the top stats for your rank or where you're at. And if you want more info, obviously you can click on info and it will tell you um, ranked info. So let me explain this real quick. Um, this is where you'll see ranked info. Literally just clicking info when you go to the rank tab. Um, first, first thing you'll see is the rewards. These are the rewards you'll get. So ranked f uh, frame, you'll reach if you reach goal five, uh, you'll get the frame, uh, and you'll get the uh, frame for like whatever highest level you reached in that season. I reached masters this season, so I'm just I'm not playing ranked anymore. So I'm gonna get a masters border. You get titles. You always will get a skin for like winning or playing at hundred matches. In this case, it's a Torvald skin. Obviously, you can get uh, chest and avatars. And it'll tell you here, like, well, what season, what split, and how many days are left. For those who don't know, there is four, or th there's either three. Yeah, there's three splits in every year. And I mean, every season. So, one season, three splits. You go to the right, and it'll tell you information regarding your rank. Obviously, if you get 100 uh, TP, you'll get go up a tier. And sometimes if you get a really good winning streak, you can actually skip tiers, possibly even ranks, depending on where you're at. And I'll tell you information here regarding like decaying, queuing, uh, divisions. Divisions is like gold one, platinum two, diamond three, um, and so on. Masters and grandmasters obviously don't have that. Once a master reaches like 100 TP, that's when they have to grind extra TP 
until they reach like the top like 100 masters, which in that case is grandmasters. Then you have more info. This will tell you um, information about ranked, really. And you have view leaderboards and you play it right here. Next, you have uh, training in your queue. You also have daily bonuses here. This is for, um, this is not per. This is, so if you do two training matches here, you will not be required to do two here. So this, this is where you're going to do your training stuff. So you'll do team dance match, onslaught training, siege training. You have shooting range, which obviously every game has a shooting range. You can go into, test out every single champion for free and see how you like them. Tutorial, if you want to retake the tutorial, and again, if you want to play either of the game modes against bots or AI, then you can do so here. And if you go to the right one more time, this is where you'll see customs. You can refresh the page to see the custom games or to the latest update. If you see this down here, you can change your region. You have to scroll up or down depending on what region you want to connect to. And if you want to create a customs, you click on create, you choose the game mode you want. Let's say we want to do uh, TDM and in Dragon Arena, you click on Dragon Arena and you put your information in. Um, if you want to join a game, there will be a join button over here, which you click on. And once you click on that, um, you have to enter in a password if the custom games has a password. If not, you'll be able to join it and you'll be stuck there waiting. Um, other than that, that's about it for uh, checking out the main menus through Paladins, Champions, and Realm. And here you go. See, I got skins and event passes and all that for this. So to clear it off, just click clear all and your notifications are gone. So thank you all for um, watching. The, this is probably the first tutorial of many. Uh, tutorials definitely need to be updated and I hope you guys really enjoyed. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, check out the Discord link below if you want to join your friend in the community and all that fun stuff. Um, see you later. Goodbye. And have fun in Paladin's Champions of Rome.